Hey, how's it going? Hi. So what do we have here? I brought you some beautiful historical books. These are the 1814-1815 um, publication of the Naval History of the United States that are signed by President John Adams. Oh, sweet. So this is the History of the United States Navy. That's cool. Yes. We had the most high-tech ships in the world. The USS Constitution had the nickname Old Ironsides. That's because in the War of 1812, mm -hmm. a British frigate fired on it, the cannonballs bounced off the side of it. That's awesome. And, and it got the nickname <laughs> Old Ironsides. So uh, we have... Inside of each book is a book plate from the personal library of President John Adams. Whoa, that's fancy. The publisher signed these books and gave them as a gift to President John Adams right here. OK. There's one other additional fact, too. Right here, the books have been given to Lieutenant Charles Thomas Clark, and they are signed from President Adams. That is cool. How much are we asking for? 200000 I've sold books that belong to early presidents for a lot of money before. So let me call up a friend of mine. If there's anybody on the planet who will know everything about these, it will be her. OK, so, sounds um, great. I look forward to talking to an expert to see what they think about these amazing books. This is the Uber book nerd I was telling you about. Wonderful. <laughs> and you have something for me to nerd out? Um, yes, we have two books from uh, President Adams Library. She wants a lot of money for them. And I, I don't know, it, it, they're books. There, there's a million and one questions. <laughs> Oh. Presented as a mark of respect to His Excellency John Adams Esquire by the publisher. That's nice. I mean, it's part of the history of how this book came to be in the first place. This is Clark's naval history. There's a close connection that John Adams has to this book. So Thomas Clark was an acquaintance of his, and he encouraged Clark to write this naval history in the first place. Oh, that's so cool. This is post um, War of 1812. This is the second edition. And the first edition was only in one volume. And the second edition was greatly revised and expanded. And you know where those revisions and expansions came from? Oh. John Adams talking to both Clark and the publisher, Carey, about what he felt should be included. So as far as the type of volumes you could have that were once in John Adams' library, this is pretty interesting. OK. People love presidents. And the Founding Fathers, in particular, formed a nation based on intellectual ideas that they were reading. So if you have a book that one of these Founding Fathers was reading, it's kind of a big deal. But this is kind of a problem, because when the provenance is here, and then it is modernly attached here, there can be questions about whether this originally went with that. Lucky you, this has evidence of offsetting, which is only going to happen over a very long period of time. These were together. And this is the right book plate for John Adams. And there are no red flags for me as far as tampering that it could have been added on modernly. OK. But there is one problem. The thing that gets people really excited is when you have writing in the person's hand. This is not John Adams' hand. And this is 1817. Uh, Adams suffered from palsy. He very often wouldn't write things himself. You can still find letters from this time, but uh, he had secretaries do a lot of his writing. That means you're losing one of the major reasons that people collect such a volume. So for that reason, I would evaluate this more around the range of 10 to 12,000. OK. Wow. Thanks. You're the best. Glad to help. Thanks. Thank you. Take care. Where I work, we sell autograph letters by John Adams. I'm very familiar with his autograph. I'm very familiar with his handwriting. It's something that I can recognize immediately. And that's what I did not see when I opened the book today. So do you have another figure besides 200,000? <laughs> the lowest I would go is about 50,000. Yeah, the most I'm going to go is 10. There so, you have it. Thanks for bringing them in. Hey, well, hey cool. Appreciate it. Was it. nice to learn about them. Thanks for your time. Thanks. It's unfortunate that we couldn't make a deal, but I'm pretty sure I'll find a good home for them anyway.